video concerning God's calendar. To understand God's word, you must understand God's calendar. God's calendar started in the very beginning in the book of Genesis according to Moses. God's calendar is a perfect 360 day calendar. Each month has 30 days. That calendar is decided by the Aviv Barley in the land of Israel. Barley is Aviv in the 12th month. Barley's ripe enough to have a wave offering on the 16th of the first month. Then the new year starts. And this is the feast day calendar. God actually has two calendars. He has a creation calendar, which started in the first month. In the first day. This calendar was changed when God took the children of Israel out of Egypt. It was the seventh month when he took them out. It was the seventh month that the Passover occurred. He changed that seventh month to the first month. This began the feast day calendar and the teachings of Moses concerning this feast day calendar. Seven holy days would come from this calendar. Sighting the crescent moon always starts the month. It started in the very beginning. First day in the first month was a crescent moon. Then God began to count the weeks. He started the week with the second day of the month the first day of the week the second day of the month we find that in Jewish history how the Israel celebrated their Sabbaths on the 8th the 15th the 22nd and the 29th of each month every month from the beginning of time until the end of time, this is God's calendar. And this is how God will count his time. The world is in uproar. Nation against nation. People against people. We return to a time as it was in the days no one we return to a time it was in Sodom and Gomorrah as they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until that day that the Lord came and destroyed them all so it will be in the last days People will be eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. And the day of the Lord will come upon them as a thief in the night. Because they won't know. They haven't studied the Bible, the Word of God. They haven't studied His calendar and how He counts time. Most of the world go 
they go by Gregorian calendar, which is a Roman calendar. It replaced a Julian calendar, which was created by Rome. These calendars do not go by the sun, moon, and stars. They're mathematical calendars. Even the Jews made themselves a mathematical calendar. God does not go by a mathematical calendar. He follows the sun, the moon, and the stars. If you read in Genesis, the first chapter, you will find out about it. God creating the sun, the moon, and the stars for this purpose, for years and days, and for appointed times, and for signs. This calendar was done away with. People stopped following. Even the Jewish people stopped following. It was very hard to do. No communication inside Israel. See, when the barley became Aviv. But in these last days, it's possible. Through the internet, social media, we can understand when barley becomes Aviv in the land of Israel. And then we can know the start of the year. And then we can know that the Feast of Trumpets is coming. In the seventh month and the first day of the feast day calendar. This is the very first day and first month of the creation calendar. These two calendars meet upon this day. This is the Lord's day. Most people read the book of Genesis and they never pick up. They never see that first day. They see the first day of the week. They see the seven day, the seven days in a week. They see all of that, but they never see that first day of the month. Israel knows this. Jews know this. Moses was writing to the Israelite people. They understood this. The reason this is so important is it was important for Noah to build an ark. It is important for us to know the times of God. To know when the world and time will come to, to an end. Even though we might not know the exact year, we can know when the Feast of Trumpets is going to take place each year. If we depend on the sighting of the V barley in Israel and we count our months, each month starts with that crescent moon. We need that sighting in Israel. It is possible now. God made that possible. He started the process in 1948. And the knowledge has increased ever since. The knowledge of man has increased ever since. This is important information. I was taught the Hebrew calendar when I was a child. I was fascinated with it. I was fascinated by sighting the three stars in the afternoon. My grandfather taught me this calendar. I was so excited to, to spot those three stars. God always requires at least two to three witnesses to make something so. And so it is 
with his calendar and his days you must witness those, those things and those three stars are a witness that the next day has started Jewish days start at sundown when you can see three stars in the sky this begins the next day and that day does not end until you can see three stars again because God created the sun to rule the day and he created the moon and the stars to rule the night hope this video will help you to understand the importance of knowing the biblical time and how God keeps time Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all these days are Roman days. They have no part in God's calendar. They belong to Rome. Learn what belongs to God. God broke his time with the sun and the moon and the stars. Shalom.